But wait another minute now. What if someone broke into the .NET zone and used a different public-private key pair as described before? Just like Aaron.NET is certified by its higher level parent, .NET, .NET is certified by its higher level parent, dot, or the root zone. A hash of the .NET public key was sent in a DS record from the root zone earlier to the RIT DNS server. The RIT DNS server hashes .NET's public key and compares the results to the DS record sent by the root zone. If the hashes match, we know that .NET's public key is really .NET's public key and that the records they sent are legitimate. How do we trust the DS record itself? Along with this DS record is the RRSIG record for the DS record, which contains a hash of the DS record encrypted with the root zone's private key and stored in the root zone. Upon request from the RIT DNS server, the root zone's public key will be sent in a DNS key record. The RIT DNS server takes the root zone's public key, decrypts the RRSIG encrypted hash, and computes its own hash. If the two match, then the root zone's public key is really the root zone's public key. .NET's public key is really .NET's public key. Aaron.NET's public key is really Aaron.NET's public key. And the resource records sent by Aaron.NET's DNS servers have integrity. Now I know what you're thinking. What if someone broke into the root zone and switched the keys there, right? Well, the root zone's key, signing key, is vetted by a thorough security procedure. This includes a root signing ceremony that alternates between the two secure facilities that safeguard the root zone's key signing key, located in El Segundo, California, and Culpeper, Virginia. <laughs>